The discovery of Andromeda 35, the faintest and smallest known satellite galaxy orbiting the Andromeda galaxy, marks a significant milestone in galactic astronomy. This finding challenges existing models of galaxy formation and evolution, particularly regarding the duration of star formation in dwarf galaxies. Previously, studies of dwarf galaxies in the Milky Way suggested that their star-forming activity ceased around 10 billion years ago. However, new evidence from Andromeda's satellites, including Andromeda 35, suggests that some small galaxies continued forming stars for much longer. In this video, we will explore the discovery process, the scientific implications of this finding, and how it aligns with other recent discoveries that shape our understanding of the universe. Andromeda 35 was first identified through the Pan-Andromeda Archaeological Survey, PANDAS, a large-scale observational project aimed at detecting faint structures in the Andromeda galaxy's halo. Researchers analyzing the data observed a subtle overdensity of stars, suggesting the presence of a previously unknown dwarf galaxy. To confirm the discovery, astronomers employed the Hubble Space Telescope, HST, which provided high-resolution imaging, enabling them to resolve individual stars within the galaxy and measure its physical properties. This galaxy is classified as a dwarf spheroidal galaxy, a category of galaxies known for their small size, low brightness, and lack of significant gas or dust. It is located approximately 3 million light years away, with a half-light radius of about 53 parsecs, 173 light years. This indicates that while the galaxy remains gravitationally bound, its stellar distribution is diffuse, consistent with other low-mass dwarf galaxies. Moreover, its absolute magnitude of negative 5.2 makes it the faintest Andromeda satellite discovered to date, demonstrating the challenge of detecting such objects without advanced observational instruments. Spectroscopic studies of this galaxy reveal that its stellar population is predominantly metal poor, with metallicity of approximately negative 1.9 in terms of iron to hydrogen ratio, commonly expressed as Phi over H. This suggests that its stars formed from primordial gas with minimal enrichment from heavier elements, which aligns with the theory that dwarf galaxies contain some of the oldest stars in the universe. Additionally, the galaxy's red horizontal branch and red clump features in its color magnitude diagram indicate a mix of stellar ages, suggesting that star formation was not uniform but occurred over an extended period. A particularly interesting aspect of Andromeda 35 is its elliptical shape. Ellipticity is approximately 0.4. This elongated structure implies the influence of tidal forces exerted by the larger Andromeda galaxy. Such gravitational interactions could have stretched the galaxy and potentially stripped away some of its stars and gas over time. This observation raises new questions about how satellite galaxies evolve within their host environments and whether external interactions significantly alter their structures. The discovery of this galaxy presents a challenge to existing theories of dwarf galaxy evolution, particularly in terms of star formation duration. Traditionally, it was believed that most small galaxies lost their ability to form new stars early in cosmic history, primarily due to the reionization epoch, a period roughly 13 billion years ago, when intense ultraviolet radiation from early stars ionized intergalactic hydrogen. This process heated the intergalactic medium, making it difficult for dwarf galaxies to retain the cold gas necessary for star formation. However, observations of this galaxy and other Andromeda satellites suggest that star formation persisted for much longer than previously expected. While most of the Milky Way's satellites ceased star formation around 10 billion years ago, this galaxy appears to have formed stars until approximately 6 billion years ago. This discrepancy suggests that some dwarf galaxies were able to retain their gas for extended periods, 
allowing them to continue forming stars despite the harsh conditions of reionization. One possible explanation for this phenomenon is that environmental conditions in Andromeda differ from those in the Milky Way. For example, the dark matter halos surrounding Andromeda's satellites may have provided additional gravitational support, helping these galaxies hold on to their gas for longer periods. Alternatively, differences in tidal interactions could have played a role, with the Milky Way's satellites experiencing stronger gravitational disturbances that strip them of their gas more efficiently. Another hypothesis suggests that the timing of galactic accretion, the process by which satellite galaxies are pulled into their host's gravitational influence, varies between the two systems. If Andromeda's satellites fell into its gravitational pull later than the Milky Way's satellites, they may have had more time to sustain star formation before experiencing disruptive environmental effects. This idea aligns with recent hydrodynamical simulations that suggest satellite galaxies in different environments can exhibit widely varying evolutionary histories. These findings highlight the need for revised theoretical models that account for diverse evolutionary pathways among dwarf galaxies. Current simulations must be refined to incorporate factors such as dark matter distribution, gas retention mechanisms, and tidal interactions which all play critical roles in determining the fate of small galaxies in large-scale cosmic structures. This discovery is part of a broader trend in modern astronomy, where increasingly sensitive telescopes and surveys have revealed a wealth of ultra-faint dwarf galaxies. All of them are crucial for understanding the hierarchical model of galaxy formation and the role of dark matter in shaping the universe's structure. Among these, several recent findings stand out, each contributing valuable insights into the complexities of dwarf galaxy evolution. One such discovery is Pegasus 5, 2022, a faint satellite of Andromeda that exhibits an ancient stellar population and low metallicity. Its characteristics suggest that it could be a relic from the early universe, providing a rare opportunity to study galaxies that have undergone minimal evolution since their formation. This aligns with the findings from Andromeda 35, reinforcing the idea that some dwarf galaxies have remained relatively untouched over cosmic timescales, preserving the conditions of the early cosmos. Similarly, Tucana 2, a satellite of the Milky Way, offers compelling evidence for the existence of an extended dark matter halo, a crucial component in the study of galaxy formation theories. This discovery suggests that some dwarf galaxies may be more dark matter dominated than previously thought, highlighting the need to refine models of small-scale structure formation. The implications of Tucana 2 complement those of Andromeda 35, as both demonstrate that dwarf galaxies play a fundamental role in testing the nature of dark matter and its distribution. Another significant discovery is Antlia 2, an extremely diffuse and low surface brightness satellite of the Milky Way. Its presence suggests that many such galaxies remain hidden from detection, reinforcing the idea that the current census of dwarf galaxies is incomplete. If more ultrafaint galaxies like Andromeda 35 and Antlia 2 exist, astronomers must reconsider the population statistics of satellite galaxies, as well as their role in the broader cosmic web. These discoveries reinforce the idea that our current census of faint galaxies remains incomplete. Given that galaxies like Andromeda 35 are exceptionally dim, it is likely that many similar structures exist but remain undetected. Future observational efforts will be essential in identifying these hidden members of the local group. Furthermore, such discoveries contribute significantly to our understanding of dark matter. Since dwarf galaxies exhibit extremely high mass-to-light ratios, they serve as ideal laboratories for testing theories about the distribution and nature of dark matter. The unique properties of Andromeda 35 provide another valuable data point in this ongoing investigation, helping astronomers refine cosmological models that describe how the universe's structure formed and evolved. 
looking ahead, next-generation telescopes such as the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, LSST, and the James Webb Space Telescope are expected to uncover even fainter dwarf galaxies, potentially reshaping our understanding of galactic formation on the smallest scales. These instruments will allow astronomers to probe deeper into the cosmic past, analyzing the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang and how they contributed to the assembly of today's massive galaxies. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting discoveries about the universe. Stay curious and keep exploring the cosmos.